It is back open the newly renovated Lee Davis Community Resource Center in East Tampa. The place is packed with resources for everyone in the community. And what a treat too! one woman who helped make it happen was there today and we got a look at the space carved out just in her honor. A long time coming. She has been advocating for services in this area for six decades. One woman now 90 years old and her dream for East Tampa right before her eyes today. We finally got a building. The Lee Davis Center on 22nd Street has been getting a $2.9 million makeover for the last year. And just like Hillsborough County Commissioner Leslie Miller Jr. told the crowd. She's a true pioneer. Queen Miller had everything to do with it. It's her hard work, her dedication, her tenacity, her bulldog approach, put it that way. To get this center here. It's a one stop shop, help getting a GED with utility bills, health care. It's all here. And if aging services is the struggle, the brand new Queen Miller Suite is the place. I just thank God I was able to play a part in it. Miss Miller and her family, they remember when the center was nothing more than a portable. I never knew that even 20, 30 years later that it would be this. I never would have imagined, but again, she always dreamed of it and, and hoped that it would help many, many more than just the few citizens down on 28th Avenue. Turquoise Wilson tells us her grandmother made better health care and social services in East Tampa her life's work. Chair of a board in the 70s pushing for exactly this kind of place. But it's the small acts of kindness that she says she'll remember of her grandmother for a long time to come. There'd be hungry people on the street and she would actually cook food and make sure that they were not hungry. Um, the fact that she fed the hungry and cared so much about the community, I think that's the number one thing that, that probably I will remember for her forever. You can just hear it in her voice too. Queen is so proud of her grandmother there. The county, uh, they say this new Lee Davis Center, it's really a prototype. They hope to have more of these all throughout the county in the future.